for tuning in to Cook with April on Tasty Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a chocolate mousse and I'm very excited because I have three special guests. I have my parents-in-law David and Susan who are going to taste test so stay tuned if anything just stay tuned for that. So here are the ingredients you'll need to make this delicious chocolate mousse. Some chocolate wafers. You can also use Oreos if you prefer. Heavy cream. Chocolate chips. granulated white sugar, softened butter, vanilla extract, salt. Let's begin by greasing a spring form pan. That way it will be easier to remove the chocolate mousse. Place the cookies into a bag and crush it up. I use a meat tenderizer, but you can use your hands or you can use a food processor if you prefer. Next, you're ready to add the softened butter and mix that with the cookies and that is the easiest, most delicious crumb ever. And that's gonna be your pie crust. You're gonna really pack it in there and it looks like I should have kind of crushed it a little bit more but that's okay. You bake it at 350 degrees for five minutes and then using a double boiler, you're going to melt heavy cream and the chocolate chips together, making sure to stir constantly to get it to melt. After it's melted, you're ready to add the vanilla extract as well as the salt. Salt adds more flavor to the chocolate. I learned that from Modern Family, you guys. <laughs> So you're gonna go ahead and cool that in a bowl and then in another bowl, you're going to make whipped cream. Well, it's also gonna be part of the chocolate mousse, but you're gonna mix heavy cream, granulated white sugar, and whisk until it's a nice firm consistency that is whipped cream. Then you're ready to fold the melted chocolate heavy cream mixture with the whipped cream and just make sure to continue to fold and fold and fold. I wish I actually folded the chocolate mousse a little bit more because at the end I saw a little bit of some white and I, that means that I should have folded more. Then you are ready to pour it on top of the delicious cookie crust and smooth it out and now you're ready to cover it and place that in the fridge overnight or at least you know six hours until it's nice and firm and then once you're ready to eat it you can also make more whipped cream with heavy cream granulated white sugar and whisk for about five minutes or so until it becomes a nice firm whipped cream consistency and then you are ready to add vanilla extract if you would like to the whipped cream. Now I'm lining the springform pan with a knife and it will allow the chocolate mousse to come out easier once I remove it from the pan. So as you guys can see, that helped remove it faster. Then I'm ready to drizzle with some chocolate sauce, add that whipped cream and I'm ready for my taste testers. All right, so let's do this taste test. You guys ready? It this looks this looks really, Precious. really, really good. Mm -hmm. Cutting into it so it light. Is. It is mm. very, very, very light. Get a little bit of whipped cream. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So good. It's very delicious. That is so chocolatey. I can't really. And it's really light. Wow. Unbelievable. And the chocolate. Oh, that I love the crust. Chocolatey and the yeah, the crust is unbelievable. Mmm. This is really good. Love it. Mmm. Definitely want to try this recipe. April, mm. this is so light and airy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the chocolate flavor is very, very pure. Oh, yeah. And thank the, you. The, the the cake it has Not layers to it. Yeah. Yes. I thought. I mean, the, just the taste, the, the flavor layers. You know. Yeah. You know, I was I was interested. It's interesting because I thought that the chocolate sauce was was gonna be a little too much because it's like a, mm -hmm. you know, like hardcore chocolate mousse, but it's great. It's like a really nice compliment to the to the whipped cream also. Awesome! I'm so glad you guys Delicious. Like it. Delicious. Really good. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.